Today's modern displays can output millions of different colors. So what better way to use this display than to have your wallpaper a single solid color? <laughs> More seriously though, having a single solid color for your wallpaper is great for a simple or minimalistic setup, and it can look absolutely stunning on full screen devices such as the iPhone X, XR, or XS Max. And so in today's tutorial, we're going to show you how you can make a full screen solid color wallpaper of any color of your choice using Siri shortcuts. All right, let's get started. The first step is to download the Siri Shortcuts app. Now, if you don't already have it, you can download for free from the App Store. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. And the next step is to download the solid color wallpaper shortcut that we've made. And so you'll find a link in the description down below. So go ahead and tap on it and install it. Once it's downloaded, tap on it to run it. And you'll be presented with a couple different ways to select your color. You have the color picker, or you can enter a color manually. So let's start with the first one, the color picker. You'll see here that Safari opens. Now one thing to note is that this color picker only works on iOS version 12.2 and greater. Now if you're on that iOS version, you'll see a red box and if you tap on it, you'll be presented with a list of different colors you can choose from. So pick the color that you would like to use and then hit submit when done. Hit open to open it in shortcuts. Your wallpaper will now be made, and you'll see here a preview of the color that you selected. If this is the color you'd like to use, simply hit on the Save to Photos button, and the wallpaper will automatically be added to your camera roll. So if we exit the Shortcuts app and open the Photos app, we can see here is our wallpaper. You'll see that it's the exact size of our screen resolution, so if we tap on the share button, we can just hit use as wallpaper and use it as our new wallpaper. Now that's the first option is using a color from the color picker. But if you want to get a bit more specific, you can enter a color manually. So if we go back and run the shortcut, we can tap on enter color. And so this shortcut supports any web color name. So in this case, I'm going to type in cyan and you'll see here that it'll create a cyan wallpaper. So I can just hit save to photos. And then if I go back to the photos app, you'll see here my new cyan wallpaper. In which case I can hit the share button and save it as my new wallpaper. The really great thing about the shortcut using web color names though, is that it supports a long range of different colors and you get quite specific. So for example, I'm gonna type in midnight blue. And once I enter that in, you can see that it will generate a wallpaper with the midnight blue color. And so if I hit save to photos and go back, you'll see there is a midnight blue color wallpaper. And so in the article that I'll link to down below, there'll be a link to the web color names that you can use, and there's a long list of them. But there's one other option that we can use, and it's entering a hex color. So in this case, I'm gonna do the hex color for red, which is FF0000. So if I type that in, you'll see I'm presented with a red one. So you can use any hex color to get the exact shade or brightness of the color you want. And then when I hit share, I can save it as my new wallpaper. And there we are, my new red wallpaper. And that'll do it folks. So there is a quick look at the solid color wallpaper shortcut. As I mentioned before, all the links will be in the description down below. So go ahead and click on them so you can get the shortcut running on your own device. Be sure to let us know down in the comments what color you like to use for your wallpaper. And as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel. I'll let you know that we have more wallpaper shortcuts coming in the near future. So hit the bell icon if you want to be notified as soon as those come out. I'm Logan from iOS Hacker and I'll catch you in the next one.